Alright, so I found a couple of these guys here in the garden bed, and I guess they're called white white grubs. And I tried to look them up, you know, to see if they're good or bad, beneficial, non-beneficial, and just so many conflicting uh, statements about them. Um, I found them in my compost pile before, which may be why, you know, they're in the vegetable bed here, because obviously I used that to build a bed. Some people say um, they're good, they only eat decomposing organic you know, matter, material, uh, and then they'll go for the roots of your plants when there's none of that available. Uh, I guess they're members of the scarab beetle family, which there's quite a number of them. Um, some say they're, they're good and some say they're bad, so I don't know. I've heard some people say leave them in the compost pile kind of sift it out before you put it in the garden bed. I don't know anyone who's going to do that. I just, I shovel that stuff into the, you know, when I top dress or or plant anything, so I'm not going to be sifting. But, uh, yeah, there are these larvae, and they get like a, sheet, a C shape. They're white. This guy here is a little small. He's a little darker. Um, this guy is He's a little small too, actually. The one I found was just a little bit fatter, same length, but a uh, nasty looking guy. And uh, probably getting a little warm here on this plastic water barrel. But uh, I don't know. Some people say too they're kind of cool and throw them to the birds. And I even, <laughs> some posts, some guys said they're really big where he's at and they keep them as pets. So I don't know, man. I've, from one extreme to the next. So what do you think? I don't know. Keep them feed them with the birds. I don't know. I guess I'm gonna... I still have to use my uh, spray with beneficial nematodes and I did read that uh, that'll take care of these guys. So I don't know. Let's see if you know what they are. Or if you think they're good or bad. Check it out. Check in your own garden. Might have something too. Yeah, check out this one I just found too. He's totally different. He's like a brownish dark brown red color I guess. Let's see if I can move them around a little bit. Yeah, crazy huh? Well I was able to find uh, one more of each. Uh, another one of those strange looking uh, brownish red grubs I guess and then here's another one of the uh, white grubs and uh, so I have no idea what this guy is yet I never saw him until just now and uh, this guy like I said um, white grub and I guess it's a sign I've been told to uh, and I read up uh, a little bit that it's just a little bit maybe an overwatering issue and this guy went right for the water over here the edge of this rain barrel crawling around but uh, anyways for these white grubs yeah you just dig into your soil about three four inches or so and they're just curled up like this so uh, I don't know if any of you guys know more about it feel free to share and as for me though I think I'm gonna go spray some of the beneficial nematodes on the soil here